Su tarea es explorar el espacio y llevar a cabo misiones increíbles. Para aspirar a ser piloto o comandante, se requieren más de mil horas de vuelo al mando de aviones a reacción. Por si fuera poco, se debe pasar un exigente examen físico de vuelo espacial de larga duración. Veamos qué nos dicen algunos astronautas de la nueva generación. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thank you for making the time to talk to us. Yeah. So you've joined countless space camps since you were just a little girl. Do you want to tell us some of the most exciting or like even scariest experiences you've had so far? Yeah, so when I was younger, I was interested in space, but obviously space is such a wide field that I was really trying to figure out what area of space I'd be most interested in. So I was always looking for any sort of like research opportunities or way to get involved. And so uh, when I was 15, I joined Project Possum, which is a citizen science research organization. Mm -hmm. And so with them is probably where I've been able to do some of like the, I guess, most fun slash craziest uh, different research campaigns and also experiences. Um, definitely water survival was one of the most physically demanding just mm. because we were wearing spacesuits, we had to swim in them, we had to get pull ourselves into life rafts in them. What does Artemis mean to you and why do you think it's important for us to think about going back to the moon? Yeah, you know, I think that we're in a really cool era right now where space Space has really opened up where there are so many opportunities and ways to get involved in space whether that's going to space or maybe just working in the space industry I think that since there are so many companies talking about space doing space research it's been very exciting to see that and also know that the next generation is growing up in a world where space is like much more accept, um, accepted accessible mm -hmm. where they can kind of have those aspirations pretty early on yeah. um, but also you know the Artemis missions really have you know a few main goals of kind of prepping for future space exploration, um, also getting like the first woman to the moon, things like yeah. that, for example, for the inspiration for launch. Mm -hmm. You know, there were people lined up down the road and there were wow. just people everywhere. And I, that was really the first time I felt some of that where the whole world was just kind of excited yeah. to see what was going to happen. And I think that's what I'm looking forward to most about the Artemis missions. It's just mm -hmm. really seeing like the whole country, the whole world really like excited to see this rocket take off. You are going to go places. You literally inspire Inspire so many people out there, and you're such an inspiration. So, thank you so much for your time, Elisa. Yeah, thank you it. so much.